But I couldn't really decide if I wanted to use this Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette, which as you can see is absolutely gorgeous. It has like, you know, highlighter, blush, eyeshadows, all that good stuff. Or the Anastasia Primrose Palette. And this is what she looks like. Same thing, beautiful eyeshadows and blush. So let's just get started. I wanted to moisturize my face beforehand with this glow recipe watermelon glow moisturizer very very nice and hydrating i really like this stuff it's nice and gentle on the skin so just starting out by shaping my brows a little bit you guys know i had the microblading as it's healed i can see now the different areas that i need to get touched up next month but i am very very happy with the outcome from my microblading so here typically i don't even bother with filling in the sparse areas that i know i'm going to touch up but today i wanted them to look a little bit you know more put together but nowadays i really just conceal them and go on about my business so I'm going in with some Wet n Wild Dark Cocoa Concealer, just lining up the bottom portion of my brows, trying to make them look as neat as possible for this eye look today. So that's all I'm doing, just kind of cleaning them up a bit. But yeah, like I said, I really, really love the results of my microblading. They just, they look really nice to me. So once I'm done cleaning up my brows, as you can see here, I'm going to prep my lid with my P. Louise base. And I'm just using one of the tiny little beauty sponges to apply that base all over my lid nice and evenly. So I'm starting out with the Primrose palette going into the shade Mango. This is a very, very light shade for me, light peachy shade on my skin tone, but it's a nice um, blending shade, nice transition shade for me. So just applying that in the upper portion of my lid. Now I'm going into the shade Claret, really pretty red shade, not the deepest shade in the palette, but it's deep enough to show up and just kind of turn this eye look into that kind of red red vibe you know wine colored vibe so i'm just applying like i normally do tapping motion and then blending out the edge with that first shade just making sure my crease is nicely blended and i was pretty surprised because this shadow showed up very nicely on me um and i really really like it so i'm just going back in with a little bit more of that first shade mango making sure that the edge of that red is blended in nicely with the upper portion of my lid. Now going into the darkest shade, which is Deep Berry, and I'm taking a smaller pointed uh, blending brush just to kind of focus that in that outer corner. Um, like you guys um, are used to seeing from me, I just kind of tap, 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 get a feel for the pigmentation, and then just gently blend. That's what works best for me when I'm using a palette for the first time. I like to tap the color on and then gently blend once I kind of get comfortable with the amount of pigmentation and I kind of get familiar with how the shadow is going to blend. So that's all I'm doing now is just making sure I have a nice blended crease and outer corner. So I wanted to go ahead and swatch some of the shimmers from these palettes just to decide what I wanted to put on my lid. So these are two shimmers out of the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. And then I'm going in now and I'm swatching the shimmers from the Primrose Palette. There are four shimmers in here. And as you'll see, these shimmers 
very very pretty nicely pigmented very opaque the colors are just absolutely gorgeous and so yeah that last swatch it was a little messy but you can see just how pigmented these shimmers are so gorgeous so i decided to go ahead and use the shade fire opal absolutely beautiful it's kind of like a a orangey bronzy just beautiful goodness okay it's so so pretty nice and thick i went ahead and sprayed it as you saw just so that i can cut down on any fallout because you know these shimmers do have a bit of fallout if you're not careful and then i'm just going back in with that dark red shade that deep berry and blending out the outer edge of this eye look now i'm going in with the nyx vivid brights eyeliner this one is a really bright beautiful pink shade i originally wanted a burgundy eyeliner but i couldn't find mine i don't know if i decluttered it because it dried out or something but initially in my mind i wanted a really pretty deep burgundy eyeliner so i guess i could have used my gel pot from ColourPop, but i wasn't thinking about that so this is the beautiful pink eyeliner i really like how it turned out though because even though it made this eye look colorful, I feel like it's still soft and feminine. You know what I mean? Still nice. So I'm going in with my Luna Magic Lashes today. I like these because they add a little bit of drama, but they look very natural. With uh, any type of eye look, a more dramatic look, or just a simple basic look, it they just look really nice natural but still giving you a little bit of va 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 voom if you know what i mean so yeah i really like these lashes i need to make sure i have some more <laughs> if not buy some more so moving on to the face i'm going in with my huda beauty primer this is a nice hydrating primer as well as you can see i'm making sure that my skin is nicely hydrated um for this look today some days i like my face to be a little more matte other days i like it to be nicely hydrated as usual going in with my essence camouflage concealer you guys know i use this every time i do my face to take care of my dark circles and hyperpigmentation around my mouth and I decided to try out my Catrice True Skin Foundation. I've used it before, but I couldn't really recall um, if I liked it or not and what the finish was like. But yeah, I like this foundation. I remembered as soon as I started using it, I really, really like it. I like the finish. I like the coverage. It works out nicely. For concealer today, I'm using my Uma Beauty Woke Concealer. This is a nice concealer. Um, I like the coverage. I like how it blends out. It's not my favorite. I still love Juvia's over this, but it works. I really don't have any complaints about it. It works. Now to set that concealer in place, I'm going in with my DJ's Boutique Loose Powder. You guys know I love this powder. It's one of my favorites. So just setting all of those highlighted areas with that. And then I'm setting the rest of my face with my KVD foundation powder i love this stuff so much you guys i done bought two more uh backups of this, <laughs> of this foundation powder so i'm just using that along the rest of my face decided to go in with my gucci bronzer today y'all just want to be a little bougie okay this bronzer it bron it blends very nicely it's a nice soft subtle bronzer for me so it's not anything drastic or dramatic but you can see it it does add that warmth and like i said it just blends out beautifully very very easy to use it better be for the price right so for my blush, I decided to try out the saddle shade. Y'all, look at this kick up. <laughs> okay, I did not expect all of that kick up from this blush. But yeah, so be careful when using it. But this blush definitely had to be built up on my skin tone. When I first went in, I was like, uh-oh, I'm not going to be able to see this on me. But as I continue to dip in a little and just build it up and apply it did start to show up and i actually really really like the subtleness of it i feel like it went nicely with this eye look because although this eye look has some bright color in it it's still nice and feminine 
also decided to try one of these eyeshadows as my highlighter today although it's a beautiful color it did show more of the texture in my skin than I would like which you know it's not a highlighter it's an eyeshadow so I'm not surprised about that it's a really really pretty shade of gold but yeah not um particularly that great for a highlighter if you i wanted to try it out because if you want to take this palette like if you're traveling or something and you wanted something you can use for blush and highlight i just wanted to see if it would work and it would work but you know only if you don't mind showing more texture than usual so this is what it looks like on me as a highlighter and that's the shade sparkling amber so back to the eyes i'm finishing them up with this black eyeliner i believe this is my beauty creations gel liner i will have all of these products listed in the description box for you guys to check out if you're curious because i know i don't always name them all completely and for that inner corner pop i decided to use the shade rose water out of the primrose palette and yo you see how pigmented that is and that shade is so pretty oh my gosh it's so gorgeous um so basically i'm realizing that okay i didn't even use the glam face palette everything was from the primrose today so that's going to be the title of this video <laughs> so just finishing my lower lashes with the color pop mascara and for my lips i wanted to go in with the color pop lippy stick this one is called bitchette okay they named it sorry y'all but that's what it's called um and then i'm going in with one of my old school milani you know bullet type lipsticks and this one is in the shade naturally chic very very pretty it worked out nicely with this eye look but i did want to add a little bit more shine so i went in with one of my fenty gloss balm creams and just topped that on top of that lipstick and i really like how it looked i think it matches nicely going in with my urban decay all nighter ultra matte setting spray and this is <laughs> the final look you guys you know i love it I love it. I always like when I try combining a colorful liner with my eye look and then it just kind of works out. I feel like this worked out. It turned this look a little more pink than I had planned for it to be. But as you can see, everything just kind of flows together. So hopefully you enjoyed watching me create this look. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!